Morning. Starting off the day with some fog. Uh, walking chicken. My favorite food. <laughs> Here's my mom setting up. And dad just finished. We got some um, mum gung and some veggies. New delivery just came in and this is the third shelf. So I decided to have three because we want some more shelvings and I know there's a lot of holes, but um, we will fix that with some caulking and uh, some uh, paint. We, okay. Okay, so let's do some measurements. So the first one's here. Mm -hmm. Second one's here. Mm -hmm. Third one's here. Are you okay? Okay, that's fine. Are you sure? Yes. You Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we got this up, ready to go. Um, gotta fill this in. Today, I was in the studio, finished the song Chia Tai. Yes, 17 tracks right here. And sending off to mix right now. All right, all right, all right. This is by Huang Yui. So I'm sending it to him to mix. So happy it's done. Tiring. All right, it's about 7.54 p.m. Probably get something to eat. We have Bavian soup. And then over here, looks like some macaroni. Is it macaroni? Beef macaroni. Just finished a song in the studio. A brand new song called Chia Tai. And um, went to the restroom and peed a little bit. And I am bleeding. So look at Mr. Kiwal. <laughs> Poor thing. They say it's normal to spot. Are you sure? That's what Google says. You said it's like the beginning of your period. Yeah, it is. We'll find out, but um, if that's the case, then I'm like a week late on my period, but um, we will see tomorrow. But in the meantime, do you want to read two, day 240 something? Hmm? What's the point? You're such a little pooper. <laughs> Let's just read day 241. Pooper scooper. Um, the whole truth and nothing but. The biggest myth about midwives is that they don't deliver babies in hospitals. In fact, many do deliver babies in hospital. However, there are some midwives who only deliver babies in birthing center, which are not medical facilities. Be sure to ask how the birthing center handles emergency situations and how long it takes to undergo a C-section in case you need to be transferred to a hospital. So, doctor's order is... Tell others when it feels right. You okay there? Mm -mm. Patients always ask when should or can they tell their family and friends that they are pregnant. Some people ask whether it is a jinx to tell anyone while you are in the first trimester. There's no right or wrong. A good rule of thumb is don't tell anyone you are pregnant unless you would also tell them you had a miscarriage. Okay. You can imagine how hard it can be calling everyone and posting status updates on your Facebook page if things don't go as planned. Some people like to wait until the end of the first trimester when they have heard the heartbeat. This is when the risk of miscarriage drops dramatically. So, um... Yeah, last night I was cramping a lot in my stomach and, um... It was hurting for a moment. It felt like, um, knives in my uh, abdominal, just just going at it in there. And so I don't know if it's like a problem in there, but um, today I'm bleeding. So Mr. Cuba is very upset right now. We'll find out tomorrow, honey. Say good night. Oh. Say good night. Good night. <laughs> All right. I just Googled to uh, reassure and um, calm Mr. Kibo down. <laughs> what does brown discharge mean in early pregnancy? Vaginal bleeding during pregnancy is any discharge of blood from the vagina. 
it can happen anytime from conception when the egg is fertilized to the end of pregnancy. So spotting the whole way. Light bleeding or spotting during pregnancy is common, especially during the first trimester. Usually this is no cause for alarm. So um, you may notice spotting when you use the restroom, which I just did. A few drops of blood, brown, rust colored. So um, I guess we just hope for the best, okay? I hope so. He's just sitting here moping around. <laughs> it's okay. All right, guys. Toodles. Good night. Good night. And oh my God. Why are you still here? You're not invited. <laughs>